So now we're looking at our next question. A certain computer uses a floating point representation. So it's asking for 16 bits with 8 bits in 2's complement form. So convert this number. Okay, so we have 138. So Hundred and twenty eight, all we have left is ten. So this is going to be a one. And there we go. This is how we have hundred and thirty in binary. The next bit is three seven five, so not point five, not point two five, and not point not one two five. And there we have it. It's asking us to show it in 16 bits. So the next step we need to do is to start normalizing it. So you've guessed it, we chuck a zero in first. And then we see how many places we need to move. Eight places, that's our exponent. So we go one, two, four, eight, one, zero, zero, zero. This is our value here, but it's asking us to show it in eight bits and this mantissa in 16 bits. So if we check here, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. And then for our exponent, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Although if we compare it, we get a mark for this part. We get an extra mark for normalizing it. And one thing that they've done here is represented both the mantis and exponent together. It's not actively saying that you'll get a mark for this, but it's always good to do just to stay in that habit, just in case it's a part of that mark scheme for that paper. So I'm just going to write it out just to ensure that we're definitely safe. And there we go. The whole two marks.